Welcome to the Invincible CEO Manifestation Playground YouTube channel. My name is Didi Pavernik, and I'm the Invincible CEO, and I am here to help you manifest with ease because manifestation is simple, easy, and fun. And from the bottom of my heart, I, I want to see you win. I want to see you win big. I want to see you win all the time. And this is our final episode, episode 30 of the deep dive into the now community chosen video series. So excited. It's been a wonderful 30 days, 30 videos in 30 days, taking you deeper and deeper into the now because the now is the only place manifestation happens. It does not happen in the mind. The conscious mind does not manifest. The subconscious mind does. The subconscious mind rules the now. The conscious mind rules the choice. So when you begin to understand how your two minds work and all they ever want to do is come back together in cohesiveness, we want to merge those minds together because when you merge the two minds, when they're on board with each other, exciting things happen and they happen very quickly. And today, as I'm recording, this is May 4th. May the 4th be with you. And I'm going to pop up my beautiful little Ziki bear and it was, it was funny. One day, he, I just kind of draped the uh, blanket over his head, took a picture of him because he looked so cute. And then I found this great background and he looks like he's from Star Wars. So this is, this is the synchronicities that just are always constantly playing with you that you don't even realize that you're a bigger part of something until you're a bigger part of something. But here in the series, May 4th, it's literally six months to the day that I decided to blow up my YouTube channel. Prior to December 4th, it was just there to support my clients. I had 135 subscribers. Now we're over 7,900 and I got the official invite to be fully monetized today. I got my 4,000 watch time hours and I got the official invite from YouTube. So I'm very, very excited about that because on December 4th, I created a huge jump off. This is where I was. I was allowed to be where I was because I can only start from where I am. And then I said, okay, here's this first three months on YouTube. Here's the first six months on YouTube. Here's the first year on YouTube. And within three months, I wanted to have my thousand subscribers and had those in two months. And then I said, I'll give myself six months to be fully monetized. Now, as you know, in my previous videos, the stats are only reflecting up to April 29th, but YouTube is five days behind on what I've done. So technically all the videos, all the watch time hours, this, this goal was achieved on April 29th, but I got the official invite today. So how exciting is that? I'm showing you how you can bring these two minds together, that you create a delusional goal and then you bring the conscious mind to play along and have it look for evidence as we go along. Because as you know, my initial career was a trained interrogator and investigator. And I've shown you here how everything I needed to know about manifestation, and that was back in the early 90s, folks. I've been doing this subconscious mind thing. The subconscious mind and understanding how it works made me a powerful, powerful investigator and interrogator at the age of 23. So this isn't some YouTube trend that I've jumped on. This is something that I've been living my whole entire life. And when I came onto YouTube, there's wonderful coaches and guides out there, but there's a lot of regurgitation of the same thing without a whole lot of real life practical experience. And manifestation isn't about the concept. It's not about the intellect. It's about getting you into the experience. As a personal trainer, because as you know, there's other things I do. I'm a personal trainer, new, certified nutritionist, ninth degree Reiki grandmaster, mama five, jack of all trades, right? Those who say that you have to pick one thing all the time don't understand those of us who are doing the multiples, the multitudes of things all the time. All the time, there's multiple to, multi, multiple multitudes of things happening and you do it too. You just don't realize that because you're in your secret sauce. So as a personal trainer, if I'm going to use an analogy for manifestation, we can sit here and we can talk about deadlifting. We can talk about bicep curls. We can talk about proper form and proper breathing all you want. I can do video after video, just like I'm doing video after video here about manifestation. 
But it's another thing if you and I agree to go meet in the gym. And when we meet in the gym and I go to train you, I can show you, I can demonstrate everything that I'm going to ask you to do because I won't ask you to do something I can't demonstrate. Same thing here. But it comes down to you. You have to pick up the weights. You have to bring yourself into the experience other than the experience of listening and taking more notes. And as the person doing lots of videos, I'm telling you, you don't need another video. You didn't need any of my videos or any of the other videos here on YouTube. However, you got to come out of video watching and going into experiencing. And that's why this series, this deep dive into the now series has an experience in every video. And you can watch them as standalone. They, they are all standalone, but also they build on each other. So not only have I shown you with manifestation, how I'm manifesting all the things that I've chosen on my YouTube channel from likes, comments, subscribes, the comments that are coming in. If I, if I were to write down all the different comments and I wrote some of them down, but literally I got one today that said, I'm so thankful that you are not another regurgitation manifestation channel, that we are doing things differently here. So if you are brand new, Things are done differently here. I did not shake my booty for the algorithm. That's kind of like a little quote in the in the YouTube world that if you want to grow your channel, what you're supposed to do is go and see what's trending in your niche and do a carbon copy video, the same length, the same title, very similar YouTubes, say the same thing that's already working, that's already out there because there's already a built audience for it. And when I heard that, I've never been a carbon copy in anything I've ever done as a personal trainer, nutritionist, as an in investigator. I, I, I love collaborating and I love taking in what other people have done, but I always want to put my energy and special sauce on that because I don't want to be another carbon copy. When there's five of us on stage and everyone says what they do, I'm going to be the one that always stands out. That's always been my intention and my promise to myself is to be the one that's different than what everyone else is saying. Whether I get to say it first or I get to say it last, you will be and I will be the one standing out. And that's why this YouTube channel, and I was told by coaches that you're not going to get it done in six months unless you do it this way. And I always have Frank Sinatra in my, in my mind singing, and I did it my way. 12, 13, 14 years ago, when I decided to go from couch potato to 10 miles within two months of, of learning how to run, everybody offered me their, here, try this program, here, try this program. And I looked at these programs and they, they weren't about flow. And that episode 30 is being in the flow with inspired action because you don't have to do anything, but if you're going to be in the flow, in the flow, then how do you know when you're inspired to take action? And this has been a big, huge buildup because once I looked at all these complicated running programs and it was just like, I got to think, there's a lot of thinking involved or every day I could get up and run. I could get up and run and I could figure it out as I go along and stay in the now moment because the now moment when I'm an interrogator, I can only get a confession in the now moment. I've never had in all my interrogations Someone call me up after the fact and say, you know what? I should have, I should have um, confessed the last time we met. It's been heavy on my mind. I need to confess now. But even if they did, it would be in the now moment. So as an interrogator, when I go in that room, especially when I was a closer, meaning that other interrogators couldn't get the confession and I was brought in after the fact. And I knew that as a closer, I might have two to five minutes tops. So I learned very quickly how to utilize those two to five minutes with you in my presence to help you alleviate and get off your mind what you need to get off and for me to get the confession so we can move this thing further. So when you're in my presence, two to five minutes, it's all about you because that could be the only time you and I ever talk. And I want to make sure that you get everything out of it that you need. So. Being here today in this episode 30, flow state plus inspired action. The flow state is inspired action, but you will be moved to move. So in addition to now being fully monetized on YouTube, and I've shown you how I create my digital products because this 30 
video series will be turned into a digital course. I'm already offering it for pre-sale. You can get it for pre-sale for $27 if you purchase it by May 14th, because after the launch, it will go up in price. Or you can get it for free when you decide to sign up for our two-day event that's happening May 18th and 19th. It's not that far away, folks. All the links are in the description box below so that you can learn more. But this two-day event, when I talk about doing a jump-off wheel and a wish-fulfilled wheel and a connector wheel, whether it was me losing 80 pounds in seven months in one week, whether it was me getting monetized in six months, like the moment that I said it on December 4th, it was done. And what transpired in the six months was a whole bunch of flow state and inspired action. I didn't have a big plan mapped out. This is how it's going to go. There was a whole lot of let's do it. Let's try a little bit of this. And how about some of this? And it was like trying to, it was putting the perfect ingredients for me. Now, how someone else can do it, they do it. And if they do it in two months, I'm, I'm congratulating them. If they do it in eight months, I'm congratulating them. We all have a year to do it in. But I thought to myself, for me, could I have done it in three months? Absolutely. But what type of inspired action would that involve? What type of time commitment with all the other things that I have going on? I still have a business to run. I still have a family to engage in. I still have a personal life to have, right? And for me, it's always been about the balance of all of those things. It, again, anything that we're adding on to our stuff here in the Invincible CEO, right? What I choose, when I chose to blow up the YouTube channel, it wasn't to stress me out. It wasn't to frustrate me. It wasn't to make me feel like I'm never going to make it happen. It was already what I had. What else can I add on to add more? Because everything's just different. There's no good or bad, right or wrong. I decided to blow up the channel because I wanted to have a different experience with the channel. That's it. And I knew you were out there. I knew you guys were craving a different type of manifestation coach. I could feel it. This is where you are compelled to move. When you connect to it internally first, I know that you're out there. I know that you've gone through lots of coaches and guides, and there are wonderful ones out there. I'm looking to collaborate with them one day. But there's also a lot of people, and I saw this in the personal training world. I saw this in the nutrition world. I saw this in the business coaching world, where someone goes through a, a there, there's a coach and they have a program and a few people go through it. And all of a sudden they think they can teach the program. And that's where the frustration comes in for a lot of you viewers. You've been through other coaches. There's a confusing double talk and double speak in wrapping around. Now, I will say in the manifestation world, it's kind of a little bit of the paradox because we got to get you out of your thinking mind. But the thinking mind wants to intellectually understand manifestation and you can't. Just like the thinking mind wants to intellectually understand childbirth, but unless you've actually done it, you can't understand it. And even after going through it five times, I'm telling you the understanding of it and the actual experience of it, there's, there's two, there, there are two different worlds. There are two different worlds. So I want to get you into the experience. So let's just take a moment to review here. Right? Here we are in episode 30. And this is all about being in the flow state and inspired action. So how this all happened, once again, real quick, is that I had a 30-day series called The Ah Moment. It's still on here. If you haven't seen any of the Ah Moments, they're very short. I'm not on screen, but they are packed full of amazing themes, topics, boom, right to the point. And they weren't quite getting the traction on the, the channel. So it's not that they weren't wonderful videos. I know they will blow up. It's just at that time, it wasn't doing what I wanted it or intended it to do. So I thought, okay, it's time for a pivot. It's time for a revision. So I wanted to do another 30-day series. And little did I know at the time it was going to be on the exact day. The last video would be on the exact day that I got monetized. But of course I did, but I didn't, but I did, but I didn't. You know, it's Schrodinger's cat again. And so I decided I wrote down seven different types of topics that I would love to create a course in. Because if I'm going to do 30 videos on a dedicated, on a dedicated, on a dedicated topic, then of course, I'm going to turn it into a course. Of course, of course, of course, but of course, it's a course. And but of course, is big in the Invincible CEO because that's how each manifestation should be. But of course. So I wrote down these seven topics and then I narrowed it down to three and I put it onto the community tab for you guys to vote. And you voted. 
And any one of those three, any one of those seven, I would have enjoyed creating a course. That's how many courses that are still inside me. There's still six other ones inside me that you guys didn't choose that at any time I could put back out there to do this all, all over again. But the one you chose, because this is all about you, I could have done any of them. I already know. I already know them. I've already experienced them. I've already lived them. And I want to bring my experience to you, but then I want you to take my experience and adopt it as your own. So when the, the course was chosen, when, when the title was chosen, I didn't sit down and write 30 topics down. I didn't sit down and map it all out. All I knew is every morning I would wake up, I would sit, I just got here. I would sit in what I call my morning googlies because they feel so good. It just feels so good not to, I've given myself a life where I don't have to jump out of bed. I don't have to go sit in traffic. Like I love to sit in how beautiful my life is when I first open my eyes and I first get here and I will not move because the clock says it's a certain time. I will move when I'm compelled to move when I feel the overwhelming now come in, but I give myself that. So what I want to do is I want to just go over the brief, the 30 topics that we have worked on together. So what I want to do now is go over the 30 topics. These topics literally flowed out of me either the morning of, or sometimes when I was doing a video, I would announce the next topic in that video because it would resonate within me. It felt like, oh, that's the one. And then I would write it down and then sit in the morning Google the next morning. Occasionally there was a time where I thought the next morning would be a video, but then something else came in and it got, we pivoted again. So from the very beginning, we took you into the breath. If we go back to episode one, one deep breath. Episode two, holding your breath, because it's all about the breath. That's the one thing that you've been in charge of. When you took your first breath, when you wake up in the morning and you take your first breath, happy birthday, you just got here. It's the one thing that brings you into the now moment. It's the but Why? Because it brings you into the body. Why? Because the deeper you breathe, it takes you out of the mind. You cannot think and deep breathe simultaneously. And if you're deep breathing and thinking, go deeper in the breath. Go deeper in the breath. Episode three, your echo chamber, which we call your mind because you think you think thoughts. You don't think th thoughts. You've never thought a thought. Thoughts audition for your attention. Episode four, zero point activation. That's the first time we took you into three minutes of deep breathing. Episode five, zero point plus your assumption. We come out of the zero point and into your assumption. Episode five, your two minds, your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. And you got your super conscious mind that's aware of the two. If you're aware of the conscious and the subconscious, you are super conscious. We didn't even get into that. Then we went into double mindedness, a house divided within itself. If you have wobble, it just means you're arguing with what you've chosen. So you really haven't chosen it because why would you argue with what you've chosen? Doesn't make any sense. We went into the five senses of how using your five senses in this physical reality, right? This is what your mind thinks is real. Well, you can go into your imagination and use your five senses and make your imagination, quote unquote, more real than your outside world. But we're either really imagined or imaginally real. We don't differentiate because we're not a house divided. See how these these topics were not thought out. They just build on each other. Releasing resistance. Well, you don't have any, but you create it. So we might as well release it while you don't have it. Right. Episode 10, states of being 11. Your jump off reality defined. We got into your jump off. You hear me mention that often. Episode 12, your wish fulfill reality defined. 13, how may I serve? This is all about how may you serve so that your reality serves you. Who are you in episode 14? The observer. We went into being the observer. And then episode 15, we went into the observer effect. True influence. You are an influencer. You are always influencing your reality. Episode 16, that's a story because anything that's coming out of your mouth is a story. And in the now moment, the story is not needed. Episode 17, assumption activation. We went deeper into your assumption. Then I went live for episode 18, align your mind. Align your mind, eliminate the wobble. We came back for episode 19, anchoring in your wish fulfilled. Episode 20, the now exploration, the three planes of existence. Episode 21, the living memory, predictive programming. Episode 22, imagination is everything. Episode 23, are you safe in your own imagination? 
24, heart-centered appreciation. Episode 25, what to do when opposites arrive. Episode 26, rampaging for manifestation. 27, experience is your next step. All you need is the next step. Episode 28, manifestation is beyond thought. Be still and know. Episode 29, the right to remain silent. I am that I am. And then now today, episode 30, the flow state plus inspired action. All of that was within me the moment that you, well, even before you guys voted on what topic you wanted, because it was one of the options. But even before I knew to put it down for an option, all of that was within me. This is the level of trust that I have in the now in the flow state and in the inspired action. I committed from a conscious mind standpoint to do 30 videos in 30 days for you on this channel. I knew what I was saying yes to, and it was a solid yes. No matter what was going on in my life, these videos would go up every day for you because I already have them. They're already within me and I'm literally pushing them out. And I trusted that whatever the next topic was would present itself the day, the now moment that it needed to be recorded. There's no scripting here, folks. Everything that's coming out, the only time I do any editing is if there's bloopers. And I sometimes, for a joke, leave some of the bloopers in because it's almost like I forget how to say words because they're really not needed. I could just sit here and emanate to you, but your conscious mind would get very bored if I just sat here for 30 minutes on a screen. <laughs> Right, you, Because the conscious mind wants to be entertained, but why we're entertaining the conscious mind, the subconscious mind is pushing things out. It's sort of like a smoke and mirrors because it knows that it only has a 15 to 30 second attention span and it needs to be entertained to stay focused right here, right now. But none of this is needed. I'm not needed, even though I'm the best, most exciting manifestation coach you have ever had. You've been asking for me. You've been asking for someone to be a straight shooter, to tell it like it is, to get you into the experience so that you are no longer getting confused on these mind loops. Nothing in manifestation is in the thought. Again, manifestation, simple, easy, and fun is this. In the now moment, you're brought to a moment where either you wake up and you realize this is not of my choosing, or it's nice and calm and you're saying, what would I like to choose? That's it. The conscious mind then steps up, makes a choice and says, I'm going to sentence us to this reality, right? We did that in yesterday's episode. As an interrogator, when I go in and I do an investigation and I go into court to present my case because your mind is always presenting its case and you will always find evidence for the case that you want to present. So if I was investigating a new account fraud, I did not go in and present a case of a counterfeit check being cashed. I had to know what my case was. And then I had to go look for evidence to support this is what happened. And then I would go into court and be asked questions and I was able to provide the evidence. Evidence is not proof. Evidence is evidence. But we have a standard of proof of beyond a reasonable doubt on a criminal case. And it's a very high standard to prove here in the U.S. Because you want it to be that high, because we're, if, if the, it comes back that the person is guilty, they get convicted and then they get sentenced. There's a repercussion. So the moment you speak a sentence, you are convicting yourself to that reality. You are saying in this now moment that just started and there was nothing before this moment, this is who I say I am. If I say I am, I am wealthy and I look around and I'm in the same room, but it was the same room as where I was saying I'm broke, but it's just a template. It's just if we were to go on stage and create a play you could create a play about someone being broke using the same props that you could use someone being wealthy. Because right now, if you, I've said this before, if you determine that you won last night's Powerball or last night's Mega Millions and you look at your ticket, you're still in the same template you were prior to knowing that you were a multimillionaire. But you were a multimillionaire prior to knowing because it could never be acted out and pushed out in the 3D if you didn't know it first. 
all of these videos were inside of me and they had to wait their turn because I only did one video a day. I was not recording multiple videos a day. I wanted it to be fresh in the now moment. I want the way that I have acted out this 30 day course goes against what all the gurus say, do not do on your channel. If you want to get growth, if you want to get monetized, do not do DD what you've done because it's not going to happen or it's going to take a really long time. And yet here I sit on the six month anniversary, fully monetized because la, 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 I can't hear you. What I've chosen, I've chosen. And from their experience, I truly believe that they believe what they're saying because in their reality, they're convicted and they've sentenced themselves to that reality. And that's what they've experienced. And that is their truth. And that's why what's here, I'm sharing my truth, but we got to bring you into the experience so that you can make it your truth based on your experience. And even my experience, if I experienced something yesterday and I don't experience it the same way today, it doesn't negate what I experienced then. It just means something in this now moment is different. Let's take you into our three deep breaths. I want to center you. I want you, once again, as we did in episode one, I want you to really feel that air coming through your nose. I want you to feel the air going down your throat into your chest as your chest expands because this all happens simultaneously. And then when you hold, I want you to feel that power again, because we're coming full circle. The power is in the breath. The breath brings you in the now moment. That's why so many disciplines have breathing, whether you're singing, playing a certain instrument, running, yoga, weight training. They all use the breath to center you in the now moment. If you are in the mind, if you are thinking, you are not centered in the now moment. As you're holding the breath, I want you to feel the power that you're the operant power. You took the deep breath in. You decide when that breath goes out, not the body, not the consciousness. You are the operant power. And then because you are the operant power, you let it out so slowly. So it's not like, Pah, right, that you have to get it out of you. You allow it to come out slowly and you make a noise of ha because you want to hear yourself. You're feeling yourself. You're hearing yourself. You're so simultaneously present and aware. And the deeper you continue to do this in the now moments, the more aware and present you get. You realize you exist without stories because it's all about the breath. And that you just got here and there's no time other than right now. I shared a mind-blowing um aha moment when I did the video for the Community Chosen Weekly series. It was my second video last night. It's about incubating a dream for manifestation. And what I realized was in my dream, my dream started, I was already sitting at a table at a block party in Philly. It wasn't me walking up to the party table. It wasn't me driving to the party. It wasn't me walking around. It, and I and not once did I go, how did I get here? It was accepted that this is where the story began. Just like if you put on any episode of TV, wherever it begins, you accept that's the beginning of the episode. This is the beginning of the episode of your day. So now let's go into these three deep breaths. And I want you to do it slow. And I want you once again to really feel, hear the noises, feel the feels. Be so present. No crisscross applesauce, all loosey-goosey. Nice, soft gaze forward. And I want you to go in and take the deepest of breaths, hold it, and then release it slowly. Here we go. Look at you instantly manifesting and fulfilling three deep breaths. You chose it. You were inspired to do it. You stayed in the flow of it. And you acted it out and you were aware and present. Simultaneously, you are a multitude of activities going on here. All the while, you may have heard birds chirping. 
You might have heard me breathing on the screen. You are so super consciously aware the very fact that you are experiencing and observing simultaneously means that there is a higher version of you, the super conscious you, that's aware of both of those things going on because you couldn't be aware of it if you weren't beyond it. So now when anything comes up, when thought gets you all riled up, all you got to do is go back into those three deep breaths, focus on the breath, and it will slowly bring you out of that. Just like we did in one of the episodes, did you realize right now that your butt's touching the chair? And I said to you, and now you're aware because you knew it was beforehand, but now you're super aware that your butt's touching the chair if you're sitting down and your feet's touching the floor, that now become unaware of it. Intellectually, logically, consciously in your mind, become unaware that your butt's touching the chair because every time I say your butt's touching the chair, that's where your awareness goes back to. But the only way to become unaware of your butt touching the chair is to give your mind something else to focus on. So you could stand up and immediately you're not going to be, your butt's not going to be touching the chair. But the moment you sit back down, you'll be aware of it again because it hasn't left your consciousness yet. The deep breath focusing on the breathing coming in through the nose, out through the mouth takes away the awareness from the butt and brings it here and here. And that's all we're ever doing is changing our point of focus where something could be happening unwanted, but what's wanted is when you choose to do three deep breaths, that's now what's wanted. That's now the new story. And it doesn't need a story because you're acting it out simultaneously. So this has been such an amazing, wonderful experience with you. And I broke all the rules. I made long videos. I did a series. I did it in a way that is not trendy, that no one else is doing it this way, because I wanted to share with you the difference of coming to this channel is. Will I have topics that other people have shared? Yeah, the topics are the topics in manifestation, but they're not over sensationalized. They're not here to get clicks. They're not here to get watch time hours. Everything that I'm doing here for you is because I want you to see manifestation is simple, easy, and fun. Well, Didi, then why do we need a roadmap? Well, just like if you needed, if you came to me, just like if you came to me for a nutrition plan, I'm going to give you a 12-week a, a roadmap, but I only give it to you one week at a time. And I break it down one meal at a time from the choices of the food that you like to eat. You're never going to have to eat something that you don't like because that's not how I would want my reality. I'm never going to ask myself to do something or eat something that I'm not going to enjoy in the now moment because it defeats the purpose. It's not adding on to me. I don't care how much someone would say it's, it's good for my body. If it's not going in feeling good, it's not good for my body. And the more you bring conscious awareness, who are you in this now moment? Who do you say you are? Because time doesn't exist. Just like when you get in your car, unless you have to back up, you don't care what's behind you. There's only very short amounts of time where you have to be aware if you're switching lanes or you do have to back up. Do you have care about what's behind you? Because you're always moving forward. And that's what we're trying to do here to help you. So once again, folks, take a moment, check out the description box. Every video is full of beautiful links for you to explore what's going on here. We have an amazing Manifestation Playground free nurture group. If you haven't joined, get in there. So much information is there. I have a website full of amazing blogs. Go over and check it out. But if you're in our nurture group, it's already connected. So you don't have to go far. We have digital products for you. Brand new one coming out. And the really cool thing about this, not only will you get the 30 videos here because I'm leaving them up, but you'll get workbooks and you'll get extra videos that are not here. Not that you need any of them because I said that because that's where manifestation is a contradiction. You don't need any of the videos, but yet I keep making them because it's how I enjoy my now moment. And I know you enjoy watching them. There's one-off coaching sessions. If all you want to do is have one conversation with me, that's there for you. There's full-blown three-month programs that include nutrition and exercise at where you are. And then we do have one and two day events and we do have an amazing two day event coming up on May 18th and 19th where we will be in Zoom like sessions. You will walk away from with a manifestation roadmap for the next three months from that two day events. 
and you will have all the inspired connections that you need to do, but not in the way that you think. They're so much fun. I'm just a big kid. I'm and I'm your bridge. The, I'm the bridge jumping friend your mother warned you about. Like if all your friends were going to jump off a bridge, would you jump? I'm telling you, jumping off bridges, so much fun. Everything you want is in the jumping. Everything is in the leap of faith. That's what bridge jumping is. It's a leap of faith, friends. So I love being here. I love doing this. Thank you for all your comments. They're exactly what I expected them to be. Please invite your friends along. Share the videos, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Because my promise to you always is from my heart, not only to see you win, win big, win all the time, and my clients are, there's a whole bunch of videos on the channel sharing that, but I don't want this channel to be like every other manifestation channel. I want it truly to be here for your awareness, your presence, your growth, your expansion, your explosive love of life. The now moment is where it's all at, folks, and there's not one thought there. And in this now moment, as I'm speaking, you are understanding everything I say, because it's not the conscious mind that's understanding it. It's the subconscious. So in a way, I'm sad that this is the last video in the series for a moment. But again, I'm still creating because I'm creating all the other videos for the course and the workbooks. So I'm not done with this yet. But I know that this is going to be big on this channel. I know this is going to take the manifestation game to the next level and that if the other coaches want to continue to be in the manifestation space, they're going to have to pivot because once you get this course, once you're in these videos here on the channel, you're not going to look at those other channels the same way ever again. That is my intention. So thank you so much for your attention and intention for coming back here every day at 12 noon. All of the videos I put together for you are in a beautiful playlist that you're going to see on your screen right now so that if you missed any of them, you can always go back. They're always going to be there for you, whether you get the course or not. But the nice thing about the course is we are there's so much more that I wanted to tie in here that are beautiful aha moments. And I know that some of you love to script. So workbooks are a great way to script your reality as you're in the experience because scripting is an experience. So I'm putting all of the senses in here for you, and you're going to sentence yourself to a reality and convict yourself to a reality of an amazing life where you are the star. The now moment is your hidden secret sauce, and you're not going to get caught up in those mind loops ever again. I can't say it any more succinct that if you're thinking you're not in the now, drop the thought. Drop the thought and go into the experience, go into the breath. All right, guys, until we meet again, happy manifesting and enjoy.